Parkour is a discipline and a mindset. It's not about doing the biggest stunt, the jaw-dropping feat, or doing anything with the intent of being impressive. Misconceptions about parkour and fronting are rampant throughout society, and it's our responsibility as trasseurs and practitioners to understand the art of movement and to be very studious about representing it correctly. I can't tell you how many times we've been stopped by people saying that we are crazy and stupid, that we don't know what we're doing and what we're doing is dangerous and that we'll hurt or even kill ourselves. We all know the story. What those people don't realize is that we've spent the last seven years training to be able to do what we are just about to do. Sometimes we get the chance to explain this to them and many times we don't, which is why we need a correct message to go out to society. The founders and forerunners of parkour all asked this question, how can I become strong, not just physically and mentally, but stronger as a person too. They trained parkour to foster and cultivate this mindset and vision. To them, it was about training, progressing, refining, perfecting, and preparing themselves for any situation. That mindset must be upheld today in parkour culture, lest to be lost to the up and rising desires for competition, daredevil stunts, and a self-gratifying avenue for showing off. Parkour was always meant to be very deep and very personal, goal and vision oriented. You don't train to be better than someone else, you train to be better than you were yesterday. It's not a sport and it's not competitive. The meaning and spirituality of parkour is lost when your goal is to set yourself up against other practitioners and try to outdo them at every possible chance. You're no longer trying to progress yourself, you're just trying to look better than everyone else, which is a very insecure way to live. We as a community build off of each other. We train together and share in successes. It's encouraging and accepting at all times. Everyone's movement is unique and we all live and breathe this passion together. Tim Sheaf put it so well in his video, Imagination is Everything. He talks about how he doesn't enjoy standing up on a ledge looking at a jump while his heart is racing and his legs are shaky. He would much rather be up there perfectly calm and at peace, able to smoothly and confidently make the jump. That's the heart of parkour. We're not trying to get a high or buzz and some adrenaline inducing stunt. Parkour isn't a drug. We train so that we are able to move smoothly and confidently, far away from danger. We're not reckless. <laughs> the last thing we want to do is hurt ourselves. Parkour forces you to have a sober judgment about yourself. You are only able to do what you can do. For many of us, the desire to become stronger and more capable is what drives us and motivates us to get better. If there's something we can't do, well, we train until we can do it. We receive satisfaction when we're able to do it, something that we couldn't do before. And to do it peacefully and confidently is where the freedom is experienced. Parkour is incredibly rewarding. You're always getting better. There's no way to plateau because every jump is different. Every environment is unique. Success lies in the ability to be able to adapt smoothly to any situation or environment you come to find yourself in. This translates into life, which is why we consider parkour to be a mindset and not a sport. No matter what situation you find yourself in, no matter how many obstacles you're faced with, parkour helps us to realize that there's always a way out. It will probably take a lot of strength and some creativity, but you can overcome the challenges. Parkour birds of whatever it takes attitude in one's life. It applies to the training aspect, and it certainly applies to life as well. In this way, parkour is not an escape from life, but rather a mindset for life. Move. Flow. Live.